All right, so in this video, I wanted to go over event handling and input handling in SDL. So we can use the same code from the last video. I'm just gonna get rid of this line. And then right before our while loop, let's create an SDL event. And in our while loop, every time we loop through or we render, uh, let's do another while and we'll say poll event. Now that takes the reference to our SDL event. And now we can go ahead and make a switch statement. This is pretty common. Uh, we'll just say e.type is gonna be our switch. our default case in there and then we can say uh, if the case is SDL quit by the way each one of these event types is it's just an enum uh, so it's gonna have something like SDL quit in there uh, there's also SDL key down is another event type uh, SDL key up and then there's mouse events as well right now we're just gonna look for a quit event and then we'll go ahead and say if the case is SDL quit, well, we can set running equal to false. We're ready to quit running. Uh, so now, just to recap, we create our event, call it E. We pass that reference to poll event, uh, and then we just check what kind of event that was. If it was a quit event, we'll go ahead and set running to false uh, so that we can break out of this loop. All right, so now you can see there's already a difference. We don't get the spinning wheel. We do get a spinning wheel, although it, it'll go away. It's, it's not the spinning wheel without the mouse pointer. If we come up here, this X button will call an SDL quit event, and then our entire application closes. All right, so like I said, there are other types of events. Uh, for instance, there is a key down event. And let's say if we press the escape button, let's also quit. Uh, so we'll say if... So our event has a key value. And within that, there is key sim. And then scan code is the uh, preferred method. Now there's also sim. Uh, which is a key sim, but I think SDL is really trying to move towards using these scan codes. So let's say if the scan code is equal to SDL key uh, let's do the escape can scan code, right? All right, so if the scan code is equal to escape, uh, we'll just set running equal to false. And then we can come in here and press the escape button and see that it closes. Uh, one thing we could do is we could say If the scan code is just say if we press the W button, let's set the render draw color to uh, just some random value here. We can set that render draw color initially set it to black up here uh, but if we press the W key and let's change that draw color all right so you see we have just a black screen press W and the background color changes go ahead and reset that 
So I think you can get an idea of what you can do now. You have the SDL, key down events. Uh, there's also key up events. There's also mouse button events. So there's mouse button down, mouse button up. That'll just tell you if the player presses the left, right, or center mouse button, then it's gonna give a mouse button down event. When they release it, it'll give a mouse button up event. Um, there's also mouse motion, and this will tell you just where on the screen. Well, it'll tell you that the mouse moved, and then you can go ahead and get the uh, mouse position. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what could we do here? Oh, we could probably just set the render draw color again. To like the X and Y value. Just have a continuous blue color, I guess. So let's see what we get with this now. This would be a little interesting. On mouse motion, it's actually changing those colors. So you can see there's a lot you can do with the input system. Uh, it's not just mouse movement, it's not just mouse clicking, it's not just keyboard events, uh, but it's also things like uh, SDL quit events. Uh, so there's a whole bunch that you can do with this. There's a lot that you can take and incorporate into a game or whatever program you're making with SDL. If you enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to like it. Go ahead and subscribe for more. I'm gonna be making an entire SDL series. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.